Hello all, in this short tutorial we are going to see how to model this olive oil bottle. Now the olive oil bottle can be modeled uh, with various um, modeling techniques in 3ds Max. However, I am going to use here the loft plus polygon techniques. So we will try to get the basic geometry of the bottle using the simple loft techniques and then add details using the polygons. So I'm going to start here with the shape. So let the length, the uh, length or the height of the olive oil bottle is about 22 centimeters, and the overall the width of the bottle is about 8 centimeter. So it looks like it is rounded corner, and the neck is cylindrical form. So we'll keep that 5 centimeters. So the width here is 8, and the diameter here is 5. So let's see how we build that in 3ds Max. So I'm going to go in my front viewport and draw a reference rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be keyboard entry and I'm going to type here 22 and 22. We don't need any uh, corner radius. I'm going to click here create. So that's my 22. high rectangle this is just a reference rectangle to get my line of the same size now I'm going to go into my snaps we'll make sure the grid snap is active snap is active draw my line from that grid point and go all the way to the top which is the midpoint snap okay so that gives me the uh, line which is the height of the bottle we don't need this uh, rectangle anymore now what we need is rectangle from the top view which is going to be the overall size of the bottle so again rectangle keyboard entry this time I'm going to go type 8 and 8 and let's say corner radius 2.5 and from the top view click create so it drops in here that rectangle in between same way I'm going to drop here a circle and the circle radius is 2.5 in the keyboard entry 2.5 and we'll create here so that's because becomes the neck of the bottle so with these two shapes created what we need is to maintain the equal quantity of vertices in both the shapes so i'm going to convert this into an edit spline modifier same as here on the circle edit spline modifier and looking at the edit spline modifier you can see it has only four vertices so we're going to go and choose segments select our segments and divide our segments with one vertex so it adds eight vertices around if i go and check this rectangle it has about eight vertices also in here so as a rule in lofting we need to maintain the equal amount of vertices on all the shapes that are going to participate in loft with this we can start lofting i'm going to simply take these two shapes out of here so that we can focus on the length of my bottle so I'm going to go here and select my path this is the path around which these two shapes will take form we're going to create compound objects loft get shape and our first shape is this the default quantity of edges on this shape if you go to the skin parameters it is set to 5 and 5 by default i'm going to reduce this path steps slightly a bit less and maybe also the shape steps slightly bit less we're going to add to this anyway at the end a turbo smooth or open subdiv to make it smoother so we're going to start with less edges we know that this bottle stays up to certain height uh, with the same shape of the rectangle you can see there is a small x there we're going to go into the loft modifier and 
in the left modifier i'm going to take this path percentage as i move this path percentage you can see the x starts to move i'm going to type in here about let's say 60 percent so it moves right about that i'm going to go 70 percent here okay somewhere in that edge line and add here get shape and again that rectangle so it added rectangle one here and one here then we go to about 75 percent let's say or even maybe 80 percent and from here we're going to take that circle shape so this one get shape and get our circle so it made that circle shape now remember that we have made that circle edit spline before we added this to the loft so which means i can go in the spline mode and adjust the scale of this circle to see how wide my bottleneck is going to get so the initial radius that you created you can always make changes even later so i'm going to make it about this size there is no scaling i'm just eyeballing this now you can see from the top view there is a definite twist in the model the lines are not straight so to make those lines straight i'm going to select that spline the circle and rotate that circle and as i rotate the circle here you can see this twist is also getting fixed so i'm going to rotate it about where i see that these two lines are getting uh, equally separated from that grid line so that fixes the that fixes the overall twist on the object i think we can also reduce the size of the bottle itself i could make this bottle size also slightly smaller so i'm going to select that spline and go to shapes and select the spline smaller so as you can see as the single spline got smaller the entire both the shapes got affected at this point i'm going to make that neck also slightly smaller i'm selecting the spline and then scaling it if you're not in the spline then scaling this object will not do any change to my object so that's basically the basic form of my olive oil bottle and we're going to add here now details now we could add details on this object using other multiple circles as you can see here this part of the bottle comes out so to get that object you could add here one more circle and add in multiple shapes i think in this situation it will be easier to build that using the polygon modeling so at this point we can convert this loft into edit poly which basically allows us to now deal with our um, edges and segments so we have here okay in this level we have about 24 edges so i'm going to add an edge somewhere in this so i'm selecting all these edges vertical edges connect with two segments and we'll pull those segments close to each other so that's going to create that ridge okay with those edges selected if i go to shift and polygon symbol it selects those polygons in between you can also select the polygons with the window selection with this polygon selected we go into the extrude and we're going to extrude those by local normals with the extrude uh, amount if you are not in local normals if you go group numbers it pushes that in one direction we also have by polygon which gives you the separate polygons extruded so what we need is local normals it gives us this ridge we accept that and for the bottle we can use this existing geometry to create the cap so i'm going to select all these polygons here on the top and copy these polygons shift and up so that's basically going to act like a bottle cap which will model separately bottle cap now focus on the bottle to create the 
base and the hole on the top so in the edit poly you're going to go polygon select this top polygon and delete select this base we can either delete this or do an inset and create some polygons which is going to add inset and we'll move this one up so it basically creates this inside shape so i'm going to take this go one more time inset at this point you can see there is intersections going on we're going to select this and go to the vertices so it selects i'm holding control and clicking on this vertex icon so it selects the boundary vertices which you're going to weld them together so they are not overlapping to hold that to hold that round if i apply here in open subdiv or turbo smooth you notice how the bottle goes really um, rounded it loses slightly bit so to make that corner little bit of more sharper we're going to add here an edge i could take this edge here and just pull that edge closer to that boundary and it will maintain now a sharper sharper turn so it's holding that geometry that extra edge that i have created at this point i think i can move this polygon slightly higher to create that olive oil so f3 so I'm moving that polygon slightly higher. I can also scale that slightly small. So it makes it more like a round shape F3 and F4. Now we have the bottle shape. We want to also hold this ridge into more like a square shape. So same thing here. We're going to add some edge segments. So basically what you are doing is we're selecting these edges one set second set third set and the fourth set and instead of creating multiple um, connects i'm going to select those and simply chamfer them very small amount so chamfer these very small amount and these and so these small chamfers will help us to maintain that sharp ridge okay so that's our bottle shape now make this bottle thick so to make this bottle thick what we need is a shell modifier on top we'll make this shell going towards inside so i'm going to shell this more towards the inside with one segment that will try to so as i make this shell towards the inside this single edge will try to hold that mouthpiece a little bit more sharper it doesn't do much here so with the shell with the shell added let's say without this i'm going to add here similar to this edge we're going to add here multiple ridges also here which will help us maintain the overall shape of this so I'm going to go on the shell, edit poly on top and in this edit poly it will allow us to select this and this edge. I'm going to do a small chamfer edge, very small amount just like we did before. About this is enough and that is going to hold my bottle geometry here. We can add um, like a spline to add some secondary geometry to which creates like a um, helix around it we'll keep that because it's going to be hidden by the bottle um, cap piece anyway so we're going to leave it as it is to maintain at this area the bottle slightly bit more rounded we can also do the same thing we can select this area where the rectangle transforms into a circle We'll also create here a small chamfer, keeping our subdiv on, adding a chamfer, you will notice that it tries to maintain that um, small ridge. So I'm going to expand the chamfer. So what I'm doing here is chamfering that edge. Okay, so I'm going to expand that chamfer in a way that it holds that 
round um, rectangle part and then smoothly goes into so it's about let's say three and accept okay so that completes the bottle geometry now let's see the cap quickly so we have the cap sitting here we're going to bring that cap and since this cap came from this bottle the gizmo of the cap is sitting where the bottle gizmo is so i'm going to go and change the pivot point center to object and let's bring the cap down we know that the cap needs to be slightly thicker than the actual bottle lip so we can do that by simply selecting um, and all the polygons selecting all the polygons and simply extrude extrude that polygons by local normal and extrude this slightly outwards so that will basically give us the cap thickness so if i isolate this cap object see that's what we got the empty it's got empty inside now to make the ridges on the cap so we have these small ridges on the cap and then at at some level and then it goes into a smooth surface to do that we can use these um, edge if i go into the bottle let's see how far it goes looks like it is quite good uh, shape i'm going to scale this slightly to make that shape straight it was looking like it was going slightly in and now we'll go the same do the same thing that we did at the base i'm going to select this polygon on top do an inset so that it creates um it creates like a lip there i'm going to chamfer this anyway and then one more and make this slightly small and we'll do a quick extrude towards the negative side because usually caps have this small uh, bevel uh, dip on the cap area now this edge here i'm going to if, why do you need edges because if i apply here the open subdiv modifier you can see it makes it really smooth we don't need that so so smooth here so to hold that tight geometry we're going to need here some edge segments so same thing we're going to add here a small chamfer so very small chamfer just and with open subdiv on you can decide how much chamfer you want to go there okay just enough to hold that geometry straight i'm going to apply the same chamfer also at the back bottom side here on this edge select these edges chamfer it should remember the last chamfer value and this inside i'm going to simply select the border which is this border here and shift and move that border up that is basically give us the lip here at the bottom and same way i'm going to select this and chamfer this edge as well so this is what we have as our open subdiv geometry with this now what we need is those detailed ridges we know that at half of this is half of this edge is going to be smooth and other half has those ridges so to do that I'm going to get here in the middle of this a I think I messed up here slightly I'm going to remove this edge so we're going to the edge mode select this edge in the middle and control backspace so it makes it straight again then select these edges these edges here only these outer edges and connect this connect will add one edge in the middle and we'll accept that with these edges i'm going to ring it so it goes around connect this time we need two and we'll push it towards the boundary why because you will notice in the image reference it doesn't go all the way to the edges here 
also this part is slightly extruded we'll do that as well so once we have these we can now select these edges again okay these inside edges ring it and we can do extrude extruding our edges with a very small amount if i keep my open subdiv on you will notice that it push those edges creating those ridges okay i'm going to just enough to get that detail okay and let's accept this and we'll go now to this bottom polygons these polygons here these polygons here i'm going to select shift and that selects the entire polygon and i'm going to extrude that extrude that polygon positive keeping that open subdiv on okay except since i extruded this we need to go and add those edge segments okay so this edge segment here is um, this edge segment that we have here we don't need that edge segment anymore so i can control backspace and add an edge segment around here okay add an edge segment i'm going to move this down to match with this I have my snaps active so that's a straight edge and so we need here at this level this edge and this edge chamfer it remembers the last value so it just looks good and open subdiv on and that's our cap okay that's the cap model um, we can fix that strange geometrical shading if I go to f4 and see that has multiple vertices on that geometry so if I turn off this this polygon here so if I go to the polygon select this polygon go to inset go to inset and make this inset one more time and then in the polygons if i go and collapse it so it goes all the all in the center instead of leaving here a one single polygon with multiple vertices now it gave me triangulated polygons which are still better than having a polygon with a single polygon with multiple vertices that will solve the shading of my geometry on the top that cap is done bottle is also done we can move this cap slightly lower like this and that completes the geometry